on to another story now. And seven months ago, we bid at a charity auction to go lawn bowling with then Prime Minister Kevin Rudd. Doesn't time fly and don't things change? Yesterday, <laughs> Foreign Minister Rudd and I faced off uh, on the green against his opposition counterpart Julie Bishop and Denise Scott. Check it out. Kevin Rudd and Julie Bishop, two titans from the opposite sides of politics who spend their days fighting it out in Canberra. But what happens when you take these rivals out of Parliament and hit the green? A lot of things are known about Kevin Rudd. Are you, are you very competitive? Not at all. But if we don't win, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Could you teach me the death stare? And Charles is doing the winning shot. You just get right up the other end and you give it to him for Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm prepared to do and, that. And don't use it again. It's not the sort of thing you should do at home. When they're reduced to a blubbering pulp, we just smile subtly. Yeah. Is, okay? Do you take that attitude into foreign policy? Yeah. Uh, only with countries much smaller than ours. Right, that's important. Whoa, well, okay, K-Rudd. Competitive much? Time for some bowling. Whoever loses buys a round. Yeah. All right. Don't fall over. Long foot. Stop it! In Parliament, it's so combative. Do you all, when the cameras are away, do you all go and have a beer together at the pub? The truth is, no. Uh, if I was going to be honest with you. Let us slide. NBN! Do you think maybe Friday night drinks in Parliament might help? <clears throat> Obviously, two drink maximum. It might be reasonable and no one should drive. But... And then, and then our dog did this on the way out. We've definitely got some catching up to do. We have. Uh, this whole, you know, business of opposition for opposition's sake and being negative about everything, I just think it turns everybody off. Yeah. Because it's brainless, you know. So why can't our pollies get along better? Am I too close to you? You are. I think this Australian public likes to see real bipartisanship. They also expect us to fight ferociously for our point of view in the parliament. It is the house of political debate in Australia. We should never shy away or apologise for that. Oh, no! That is it! Have I got the shot? Maybe there should be a parliamentary employee of the month scheme where everyone gets to nominate someone on either side of the divide that did a good job this month. That's stretching the principle. <laughs> very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. So it's these two. Oh, look. Woo! I think we've got to concede. You've done well. Better luck next time. We lost. OK, let's not revisit that. It's a fact. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah mate, your shout. We are already humiliated. Let's I have thought a you were more a camp player in Saturday. I'm more of a cosmopolitan. Look, can you guys agree on anything? Can we just get the beer? Let's have a beer. Cheers, guys. Cheers, well done. Cheers, guys. Well, well done. done. OK. We kicked your ass. <laughs> a big thanks to Kev and Julie. That's a great fun. Fun. Yeah, it was, was great fun. fun. It was yeah, great he fun. He didn't get him across the line. He's been beaten by women for too long now. Because <laughs> <laughs> they kicked your ass because you kept him talking. If you just oh, stuck Charlie to loves oh, Kino. Kino. We, we <laughs> definitely, <laughs> we definitely tried our best, and we, we were honestly beaten and deserved to be beaten on the day. But it was great to do, and uh, and, and it raised some money for charity back when we bid for it mm. way back in the day. Uh, mm. Now we've had lots of feedback on the website 7pmproject.com.au to have your say on the show. One thing I have to say is we've had trouble getting through all the feedback because so many people have been welcoming Carrie back. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gone. Uh, that's the show for tonight. Big thanks to Hamish McConnell, Jen Byrne and all of our guests tomorrow night.